Welcome back. We're just finishing up a few things before we head off to the Octus. And we'll start here with Dana's little affinity scene. This will be our final battle. Make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Excuse me, Adol. Um, if you don't mind. There's a place in the village I'd like to see before we go. <laughs> Sorry, but do you think you can accompany me? Adol climbed the watchtower with Dana, and they took in the view of their surroundings. Fortunately, there were no signs of any primordials, so they decided to rest for a moment in the meantime. Even if we manage to stop the Lacrimosa, I still don't know what's going to happen. We've come so far. I've been waiting for this for so long. We'll face it together. <laughs> yes, we will. When the final battle is over, I'm certain we'll stand victorious. But first, I have to confess something to you. I don't like your red hair. Actually, I need to apologize to you. You and I, we had a fascinating bond. We shared a consciousness. And through that, we were able to travel together too. Through it all, I started to become unwaveringly convinced of something. That your soul burns brighter than any other soul in the world. At all. I think I was the one who selected you to be the Warden of Evolution for Humanity. Oh, thanks. I may be the reason you're forced to suffer in the future. And yet, despite everything, you're still trying to help me prevent the Lacrimosa. I'm so sorry that I forced this burden on you. Well, this changes everything. Get out of my sight. You don't need to apologize. At all. Hmm. You're right. The circumstances are different now. Now we have Mistletine, the Sword of Psyches. And with that... Th thank you for actually saying it, Mistletine. I'm glad you're the one who received the power of Psyches. In all honesty, I could have volunteered to receive it myself. But... I wanted to fight by your side until the very end. So that's why. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. But in hindsight, you're the best person who could have received it. Ah, uh, yes. Adol, I'd like you to have this. Oh. Sake from my mother. It's the reason why I've always felt so compelled to help others. Normally, this ring seals essence, but I modified it somewhat so you could make use of it, Adol. It would make me happy to see that ring on your hand while you hold that sword. I understand. Time to face our fate. Yeah. Yes. Everyone is counting on us. Let's fight together, Adol. Side by side until the very end. Oh, did you check the bulletin board? Sit. Allow me to explain my request. Oh, very well. Please take a look at this. I believe it's called a monolith. Pieces are missing. I found it while I was exploring the northern region of the island by myself. As you can see, half of it is missing. Fortunately, according to Dana, the most important section is still intact. If we can find the rest of it, we can see the information it contains. Hmm, you seem intrigued by this. We'll need Dana's help to analyze the monolith's contents. Fortunately, she said she is willing to help. Despite the current situation, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about the Eternian culture. So I'd like you to help me find the other half of this monolith adder. I think I have that. I'll help you, but I can't promise anything. Very well, that's fair. Normally, I would help you search for it, but I can't leave the village on my own. I appreciate you helping me out. I think I have that. I'm sure I picked up a monolith piece somewhere. Yeah, fragment. Hmm, this piece should fill in the missing part just so. <laughs> I appreciate it. Now, I believe I'll go and ask Dana if she can tell me what this says. It's just a cooking recipe. 
I will now channel essence into it. Now I see, this is fascinating. <laughs> Strange how it still works, even with that big crack running through it. What's it say? Um, this is what's known as the truth of Eternia. This monolith contains information about the Great Tree of Origins and the Three Principles. The Three Principles? It's a philosophy which states that the origin of all things can be traced back to the Three Principles. These principles are the sky, the ocean, and the earth. Uh-huh. Hmm. Sounds familiar. What exactly does the monolith say? Let's see. All originated from an abyss. The boundless sky spreading in all directions. In time, rain fell from the sky, giving rise to the ocean. Time, fire spewed forth from the ocean, giving rise to the earth and the great tree. By the power of the great tree, life was formed, evolved, and set foot on the earth. And life is nurtured still by the earth. One day, life must return to the sky through the great tree. Thus, life continues the cycle of evolution. That's what it says. So that's what was passed down as the truth of Eternia. Interesting. It also reminds me of... Tritheism. Tritheism? I think I've heard of that before. Hmm, what is it? It's a religion that was in practice that predates the Hieroglyph Church. I believe it was centered around the worship of three gods. Oh, I'm not familiar with it. Me neither. The basis of the three principles in the sky, the ocean and the earth. And tritheism worships three deities, the sky god, the sea god, and the earth goddess. So the sky would be an, an analogy to Horu, the sky god. The ocean would be an analogy to Gratios, the sea god. And Earth would be Maya, the Earth Goddess. I'm sure I've heard that name. Maya, I wonder. Oh, are you familiar with that name? Yes. One of the Wardens, Hydra, mentioned her to us. Adol told Gazelda the story that Hydra had told them. I see. He's telling the truth that the Earth Goddess once existed long ago. There's no way to confirm it's if that's true or not, though. Hmm, I ain't the scholarly sort, so I don't really get all this. It sounds like tritheism originated in Eternia, yeah? Hmm, there's no way to prove that. But it's an interesting theory. Knowing this, it might be worth to, worth our tr to travel the world and uncover the truth. Either way, this is probably all we can determine at this time. Interesting. Keep that in the back of my mind for the whole series. Because obviously I'm playing more of this. Thank you for helping us analyze such a valuable piece of information, Donna. I'm just glad I was able to help everyone learn more about my era. Hm. As am I. Still, what the Warden revealed to you seems rather cruel. The Great Tree does not perpetuate the cycle of evolution, but the selection and rejection of species. I don't want to accept that the world is sustained by such a process. Yeah, it's like it's a lot to wrap my head around, but I'll do whatever it, whatever it takes to stop it. Adol. Yes, we will stop it. I'll do whatever I can to stop it too. Yes, we can accomplish anything so long as we work together. Yeah, she's right. I agree. <laughs> How inspiring. I believe you will accomplish the task before you. Our future rests in your hands. Job, everyone. Maxed out. Dynasty formula. Right, so you should have now an affection scene. There we go. May I have a moment, Adol? <sighs> the view from this height is stunning. I'm sorry to suddenly ask you to accompany me up here. I would like to personally thank you once again. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Ooh, thank you. I can't accept such a fancy gift. 
It may not be as helpful to you as you have been to me, but it's the best I can do to express my deepest thanks. I insist that you take it. I'll be blunt. What is your opinion of the Roman Empire? Based on what I know, a powerful nation. Um... Are you referring to our military might? That's not necessarily something to be proud of. With each passing year, Rom's wars of expansion continue, and her territory grows ever larger. Her desire for conquest shows no signs of waning. What I'm about to tell you, Adol, stays between us. You've attracted the attention of certain individuals within the Roman military. They might decide to cause trouble for you in the future. Much like what happened in Celsetta. I so need to... Uh, Celsetta is going to be my next one, by the way, because of this. Please, be careful. Thank you for your concern. Yes. I should be thanking you. Your presence is an inspiring one. When I say so, set will be my next one. It may even be like, um, East 9 might be my next one. We'll see how the year plays out, you know. <laughs> I brought you here to thank you. Yet here I am, inspired once again. Hmm. Leo told me that I need to start thinking of ways to establish my influence in Rome. That being said, escaping this island is our top priority. Let's see this task through to its end. Certainly. Okay, so here we are. The boss awaits us. It very much looks like the symbol we've been seeing everywhere as well. If you actually look at it, it's like made of m many different parts. Of creatures we've seen, but... It's actual layout, and like the sort of like tri symbol, the, the triangle at the top. Very familiar as well, it's just... Very, very familiar design. But yes, that's us done with affection and everything. I can really do in Castaway Village at this point. Got over 300 reputation points. Let's head towards the true ending then. You stand before a glowing warp circle. The final battle lies ahead. Make sure you are prepared before you continue on. Activate the warp circle and continue on to the final battle. Activate the warp circle. Yeah, it's just, it's intriguing, it's got elements from all different kinds of species. Dios de Endrogran. Probably completely wrong. At last, we meet. Let's go, Adol! Come what may, we will charge ahead undaunted! Yeah! Okay, what we got here, that's the question. This is it. No use being scared, right? One last delivery. You're gonna say cheesy lines based on your history and stuff like that. I imagine they are. Ow. Oh, I rolled into one then. There we go. That question like, what exactly am I meant to be killing here? It's like, these, these are just the tendrils it has. So it's like, what exactly? Oh, we got here. I do have dynastic water, obviously, because yeah, we picked that up. That was what the formula was for. Ooh. 
It's almost, almost, almost. What the hell is? I've got to be more careful with what I'm doing here. Let's, let's, let's see about getting my HP regen would be good for me. I feel. With the way I play, which is very much like spam as much damage as possible, not as much focus on defending. I feel that's probably better for me. Hello. How do I take out each green thing? Ooh. Well, that's cool. Oh, I like them. They give you an option. Be like, hey, do you want to sort this out? No, I'm alright. Surroundings ready. I want to stop that stuff. Don't you, don't you do that. Wait, when was the one behind me? When did you come? Like, when did you... Let's get the darkness gone. Hey! Come back here. It's cheating. Oh, that health regen, though. Not really been in that bad of a predicament. I'll say that, and now it's something gonna get like wiped out, like one massive hit or something. I'm waiting for something to like obviously guard against. So I keep spamming it occasionally, just be like, like that's the one that's a bit. Mm. I don't want to waste them just yet. I feel like... You know, I should really use these. That'd be an idea, wouldn't it? That'd be very helpful. Hmm, not that. We don't need the ripe mangoes or anything like that. Trying to, trying to use these down here as a way to, like, guard, but it's not working at all. Stop that. Next. Nope. No, 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 we're fine, we're fine. Actually, this time. Ooh. I'm doing better on the dodges there, but I want the guard so I can get the crits coming out. What are you doing? Mm. I feel like again the dodge is probably better there, but that's what I was after. That's what I was after. I need. I need to be. Ah, oh. the only problem is that I want that, but I'm even gonna hit it. I got a little bit. What the hell did... Hello? How did you do? Dodge not work then. Huh? 
I need my SP up. What can I do for that really at this point? I'd be like, yeah, that'd be good right now. That feels good. I do want to get my health one back up. I was hoping I could get dodging there, but. I saw that change. Something's coming. Something's coming. What are you doing? Oh god! I'm spamming guard at that point to see if it would work. Nothing. What the hell at that skill though? Must have not been near it. It's such a shame that it's nothing near that I can attack when that happens. It's like, oh. I don't know that I caught one. Caught that one. Oh god. Let's go, Donna! I, I, that was cool. Must feel sorry for them. They just wiped out from existence. Oh, uh, I can barely move a muscle. Mm, me too. I'm so pushed. <laughs> it's quiet. What's happening on the outside? Yes. Did we actually stop it? Huh? What's going on? I'd, I'd get out of here if I were you. Uh, an earthquake? I think the tree is dying. Is everyone alright? Sarai, what's happening? The Lacrimosa has been thwarted. But the island... The island is vanishing. And the world will soon vanish with it. Um, that's bad, right? Well, shit. Yep. No! Adol, was it a mistake for us to meddle with Providence? I mean, if the world's gonna end, yeah. <laughs> it's like, this isn't over until it's over. No. I know, but... Everything is turning white. This isn't over yet at all. I won't let everything we've done amount to a mistake.
I mean, you can't end that there.